Hi again. So we're upstairs now in the Canadian immigration in Cebu. And Bella's gone through the little bit of a security and she's gone in. I'm waiting outside. And you just had to sign in and then you had to sit there and wait yeah, just to be wait seen. To so be with the numbers, they have the numbers there, guys. Yeah. So share what happened, babe. And then you're calling your number and then after calling your number you're just going in the door because they have the three three type of different door there and then you're calling your number and then you just open the door so remember she's only going in here for her biometrics guys fingerprints and photo that's all she's going in there for so more things happen than that though, right babe? It wasn't just going in, getting your photograph and your picture. You, a person tried to interview you, right? Yeah, you just little bit interview there yeah. and then... So be prepared guys. Yeah. So so what happened in the interview, babe? Don't get, you know, a little bit of detail. Uh, you're just asking with me like, you are, fill up your own, the application, ikong yes. Um, I do, and then, the after that, the checking for the, finger yeah fingerprint fingerprint and then like a picture that, like that and then take a picture and then after that you had to pay me, again no you're giving me the fill up the for the receipt oh okay but you had to pay some more money right yeah after that you just pay and then you explain me what i fee the money so i understand to each other and then after that you just choose to uh, send to carrier or you just back but, there. But what was really odd guys is, is she's already got approved okay for the visa and all she's doing is going she's, it's just going for biometrics guys so what I don't understand is why this person felt the need to interview her there's things that we're not sharing uh, in relation to what happened in the interview, uh, but it makes no sense. But be prepared, guys, because um, the worst thing is is not to be prepared, right? So when you go in for his biometrics, your Filipina might get interviewed. So we just want you to be prepared for that, okay? Um, you know, just be calm and answer the questions, and yeah. all will be okay. So um, Bella and Nell came back out. Uh, we're leaving. And uh, we're now got to wait for the biometrics to be approved. They're saying that we'll be getting another email uh, because you got to do a background check on her. So yeah. wait for the next and video, guys. Oh, do you want to say something, babe? What? Yeah, you're just waiting for the email. Yeah, That's waiting it. for the email, for the biometrics, the background check, guys. So see you soon. Hey guys, we're back again. Okay, biometrics is all done in Cebu, the Embassy of Canada. The Canadian Embassy there. Uh, we've now got uh, Bella's gone uh, online again and recommend highly guys don't try to use a cell phone laptop guys cell phone I don't even know how it would work laptop so you went in it's got back into her page it's got all these approved 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 and now it says your biometrics have been approved yeah. so now what did it ask you to do now you had to send in your actual physical passport right yeah and um, you sending me the the my passport ca to carrier yeah so they're actually wanting uh your passport now to get sent to manila not to cebu but to manila so we've now oh this has got to be now two months three months all this process guys three months yeah three months this process uh and we don't want to risk uh a courier of such an important document meaning the passport getting there because things could happen in the philippines right so we decided to fly to cebu and we went and stayed at the hop in again guys and we personally went in and took the visa in a visa the passport we took the passport in and thank goodness we did guys 
because we had to pay again. And if we would have sent it the other way, we would not have known, guys. So this is really important, guys. I'd highly recommend that when you get to that stage of them wanting you to courier off your passport, guys, take it. You can take it to Cebu. You can go to Manila. Uh, take it in person because you're going to have to pay more money. So if we didn't do that, it would be more delays and who knows what would happen, guys. So we paid. Yeah, I paid. Do you even remember what we paid that time? Um, uh, we'd have to look back. We'd have to look back, guys, in regard. But we did have to pay again. You paid for that. No, I'm not paying again. It's one time to pay. No, no. We had to pay for it to be sent back, babe. Uh, yeah. Yes. To be courier back. Yeah, I just pay about the courier for delivery, guys. Yeah. But, guys, yeah. it had to go to Manila because Manila is the one that does it all. And then it had to come back. I think it came back. So she got texts every time wherever it was going that it left Cebu to going to Manila, then from Manila back to Cebu, and then from Cebu back to you. And we just happened to be at home when the yeah. courier came. Yeah. Right? So the courier came. Guys, it was so exciting. We actually haven't put that video out yet. But to open up that plastic bag and see your passport back and open the pages and see the Canadian finally guys eh? <laughs> that was exciting eh babe that's the time that that I was said. really that was exciting eh babe finally huh? yeah Welcome so guys <laughs> there you go guys so that's all about getting your Applying for your application for your visa. Very challenging, guys. Yeah, <laughs> very challenging. Yes. Yeah, so we hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you can always comment or send us an email and we'll gladly help you out. Bye for now. Oh, our next video is going to be uh, traveling from Dumaguete to Manila. So we're now... We're, we're heading off, we're gonna fly. So we're flying to Canada and what awaits for you when you get to Manila? What do you think guys? What happens when you get to Manila? Stay tuned for the next video guys. Bye for now. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say babe? Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe.